attack at just 40 years old. By 2006, he had several heart attacks and surgeries, and by 2009, he was in the process of being listed on the organ transplant list. They began to realize that my kidney was failing as well. And so they said we need to do a heart kidney transplant. Doctors said Hillary wouldn't make it to see the new year, but November 14, 2009, he was given a second chance because of an organ donor. But around Baton Rouge, it dawned on us, both of us about the same time, that somebody else was getting a much different call. But his journey doesn't stop there. Being an organ recipient means many hours spent at the doctor's office. It's worth it because of what he did for me. A year after his transplant, Tillery wanted to prove to the doctor he was whole again. The former pastor and a group of friends rode their bikes to New Orleans to prove he was healthy enough to return to Nepal for a mission trip. One of my challenges every day uh, is, is to persevere. I mean, um, and I do it for two reasons. One, I want to honor the God who is the giver of all good things and the giver of life. And secondly, I want to honor my donor. Fourteen years later, Tillery's new heart and kidney are strong. He was able to walk his daughter down the aisle, perform his son's wedding ceremony. He's enjoying life with his wife, grandchildren, and cat Petrie. There have been challenges as well, but um, there's been a lot more good. For information about becoming an organ donor or the Louisiana Organ Procurement Agency, visit our website. With summertime approaching,